What you're about to see is an interview between me, Mark, the one million shareholder, seven million dollars in Beyond Joe Style, the largest retail investor, the whale himself. Literally, we have a whale that is. You're about to see a 30 minute conversation between me, him, and Aaron, who has about. He he said he has about 200 shares. That is that man is a legend as well. He showed up. He's the only person, the only subscriber that showed up to this. And uh, he's he's freaking legendary. This is a discussion about being Joe, all things related to being Joe. You're going to see the edited version right now. This is the more concise, exciting version, I would say. If you want me to post the unedited version, I could certainly do that. And with that being said, the quality is not good. Okay, you're going to have to turn the volume up very loud. I'm sorry for that. That's just what we're dealing with. Okay, when you click on the auspicious descent video, the quality, you know what you're getting. Okay, this video, I didn't even record this. Okay, this is news. We recording this with his laptop. Okay, so it's not fancy by any means. But basically, thank you all so much, man. I hope you all enjoy it. With that being said, I'll get out of here. Enjoy, enjoy the freaking interview, man. I would say, Still Eric, if you're watching this, all I'm looking for is integrity. Every one of your people have to have integrity, have to be working as hard as I work on the roof. If you're doing that, and if you're protecting your technology, protecting yourself against industrial espionage, you know, managing your programmers so that they cannot steal and so that you can monitor everything, I'm holding. Compared or relative to um, other picks, other options, you know, you've got seven or eight million in one company that you're not in love with. Why keep it? all in one well company. as i said many times taxes the leadership oh you're, you're right leadership you're Pro scaring me now yeah taxes so uh, right after it's one year <laughs> yeah, no, yeah maybe, one year? maybe not i mean it depends on the direction of the company you know right you, you guys have no idea how a very short time ago how poor i was and he's gonna sell out right when one year. Sell out. <laughs> what do you I'm think what do you think listen i don't want i don't want a lamb let's say by only his twenty dollars let's say by only his 15 to 10 dollars one year from now, or 2021, All 2022. Right, so what are you I'm really just interested in, in maintaining the money. I'm still in shock. At one time, I had $17 million, right? The, the stock was up to 15 oh, yeah. yeah. So with my other shares, it's a lot of money. It's a lot of money. And, you know, the people in that group were saying, sell, sell, sell. I'm like, no, I'm not going to sell because of taxes. You know, so... Uh, it's over. Know, <laughs> it's a GG. Yeah, it's, let's see, seventy-two cents. Okay. Yeah, yeah, wait. Where did you Where did you buy it? What's your one-year point? At the <laughs> it's point, gonna be a bad day. At the to point, wait, sell out before at the that. point, no, at the <laughs> point where I had seventeen million, my average cost was ninety-seven cents for B and What uh, What date? What date did you get your one million shares? Uh, around December. Um, okay, we've got a little bit of time. We've got a little bit <laughs> of time, time to out. How many <laughs> realistic? Listen, I, how many things you're gonna sell? I know it's probably gonna be a little bit. I understand. I would sell a little bit. Well, I have to pay my tax because I right. because I right. So I, I sold some to pay taxes. Now I have to sell some to pay taxes again. Yes. Yeah, so cool. so uh, you know, I'd like to get a down payment for my ex-wife's condo. You know, where she's gonna retire. Uh, so that's gonna be like a hundred grand or so, or hundred fifty grand, and. Uh, well, I don't. We don't know where the stock price is going to. Plus, I'm. I still work as a roofer. You're still going to be a long-term hot or which at least with a lead, depends, at least a lot of your shares, if, at least some. Let's say. Let's what say does that it depend on? It depends on. You know, I, I invest in integrity. If I were to sell everything in B and Geo now, I'd probably buy Ford. I'd dump everything into Ford, uh, and and hold as many shares of that as possible, right? Because what would I, make you do that? Right. Um. If you think I make decisions that technically, you won't. It'll just be a snap your gut, decision. Your gut, yeah, my gut instinct. Said, yeah, I mean, yeah. you know, right now, to, tomorrow, maybe something totally different. I think that, uh, <clears throat> I think that it has to be a really good company that I that I believe in. You know, if if it goes up to twenty, end of the year maybe, or shoot, next twelve months, and you need one hundred fifty thousand for your condo, that's not a whole lot. No, so. it's not a lot. Of, it's not a lot of money. And I know you said you go with your gut. And we're both not ready to retire yet either, anyway. Uh -huh. So I'm down in Florida because if, if I sell, I don't want to have to pay heavy northern, uh, you know, North American, <clears throat> New Jersey taxes. That's why I live in Florida now. Mm -hmm. And that's why I set up my business down there. Good idea. Uh, so so I know you... My ex-wife is in New Jersey. She's working there. She's not going to retire for a couple of years. But, you know, I really would... You know what? How many times do you get a second chance to make things right? You know, 
I... The only way you're going to be able to tell if, if Eric is uh, setting up good safeguards for intellectual property and, you know, working hard, the only way you're going to be able to tell that stuff is weird PR drops and earnings reports revenue. You're going to have to gauge. That's very loose definitions. How are you going to gauge oh, that? Oh, you want to know why I first really bought the stock? I picked up the phone. I called Bionano, BNGO. Investor relations? Nope. I don't do things that way. Okay. I just called. I got to the receptionist or somebody. A random woman. I wish I could get that. A random I've tried woman. tried that. A random woman. I got a random woman. I said, oh, is this, is this, uh, Bionano? She says, yeah, it's Bionano. I said, oh, what do you do? She says, oh, I'm in, I'm in sales. I said, you like working there? She says, I love working here. I said, oh, it's great. How's the weather there? Oh, good. Her comments to me, which was a warm, trusting voice, hit me by the stock. The secretary. The secretary. I swear to God. Well, end of your price predictions. So that everyone knows oh, right now. End of year. Let's start with you. End of year. Oh, man. Um, 20 bucks flat based on my gut. Okay. Uh, my gut prediction is uh, it's either going to be, and, and my gut prediction, honestly, the reason I'm holding on is I think this could be, you know, 75 bucks. I mean, honestly. Just End of be, year or at some point? At, at some point. Okay. And and I think no, end of year, I don't think it's moving that way. Now, I thought end of year, the reason why I didn't sell 15 is because I, I was definitely thinking 25. But I still wouldn't have sold then. Uh, it's going to really depend on the earnings for the next period, and which I'm scared of, right? Because if they're bad, we're going to drop again. But uh, I would say... I would say we're going to be 15 minimum at the end of the year. If if not four bucks, we're going to be 15, and and that's really. I mean, you, you can't tell. I hired. I told you I hired a journalist to do a story on them. She could get no information out, but I don't know how hard she worked. So freelance journalist. I said do a story. We need to get. We need to get a journalist to go over the patents on Manor Nozzle. I need to do that. I need we need, we need, we need a scientific that. student that is not an investor that looks at the patents. Which, yes, by the way, going back, to, going back to MVIS, you want to know what really made them hate me over there? I said, I want to hire a patent attorney to evaluate the patents. Which, by the way, you can do. And I know a patent attorney that will do it. It costs money. It costs you like $30,000 to get the patents Ooh, evaluated. You can afford that. you got freaking a million shares. <laughs> no, but it caught, and, and with, with MVIS, I could afford it then, too. And I like, no, I want to be an activist investor and evaluate these patents. Well, when they flipped out, when they were going crazy about that, I'm like, oh, this is They bad. said, no, you can't? No, they're like, you're an idiot. We already know this, blah, blah, blah. The I'm Reddit like, people said that or the company said that? The uh, stock twits people there. Oh. They had a big crowd of people. They do. Microvision's following is as uh, defensive as any, but they are very knowledgeable, you could say, as well. A lot of people think they're, they're hey, listen, cult-like can, intelligence. Anybody, well, can I, be, yeah. anybody can repeat what they read, but when you when you say, I want to I evaluate the value, again, I wanted to get an appraisal on the patents. Now, that's what could happen with BNGO. You get an appraisal on the patents, so you have to hire a patent attorney that's familiar with that type of stuff. I called the guy, and I had a guy lined up for Microvision. Okay, it was only going to cost thirty grand, but the people at from Mike, not the people of Microvision, but the guys who were investors in pumping the stock, they were going bananas. They didn't want that to happen. Oh, you're an idiot. You're this, you're that, and they managed to get me kicked off of stock twits. And I think that that's a sign. So if if you say you're going to have the patents appraised. And people start freaking out, then you know you got some fraud. If people don't start freaking out, then you know you're probably okay. So, and that's what really has to happen. You have to appraise the patents. So, so a uh, um, a patent attorney will appraise the patents, and they'll speculate on the value of those patents. Now, the patents are critical. Say this. Yeah, the nano nozzle pad. We need to have people on the nano nozzle patents because we're talking about sequencing options and knowing those about sequencing field option. They can exercise it, 
and they can get the rights to make sequencing products. Right now, we're not sequencing; we're off genome mapping. Well, so it's like, then, wait, wasn't there a, was, a partnership with PacBio? Yes, that? exactly, exactly. And they can exercise that. It's a, it's like a patent with, it's like a deal with PacBio. BioNano had to pay a one-time fee for it, according to good sources. Which I don't like that. They would have had a way to apparently restrict our sales, maybe if we didn't have this patent. Right. And, uh, and there's a sequence field option that we can exercise. I don't know if we have. I don't know how we would see if we did. I guess a new patent saying we're exercising it. Haven't. I don't know if that's there. But this is from 2016. Why would they have that in 2016 if they did not have some desire to make sequencing products in the future? There's also some other stuff BioNano gets. Nothing. I mean, nothing that important. So the fact that they got that stuff, it's like, well, they want sequencing technology at one point or another. That's one of the biggest proofs for nanonozzle. And once that happens, you know, we're going places no one understands. No FDA, FDA, FDA approval could happen suddenly. So the nozzle is crossing that, it's, it's that bridge to sequencing with the mapping. Yeah, we don't know exactly if it's going to be in the Sapphire or a new product altogether, but yeah, it's going to be sequencing capabilities. Okay. Pad bio, Illumina type stuff. Well, I guess we don't know technically, but yeah, stuff like that in the same realm. Gotcha. Mr. Auspicious Descent. Can I ask that you tell us what's the most positive thing about BNJ and what's the most negative? And then I'll do it and then you do it. That's and your price question. target. Yes, price target. Uh, okay, so price target, this is weird. I say it every time. Most of the people know probably. But in between 20 and 15 is usually what I say. So I'll say 17 and a half right now okay. for the record. But that's that's the likely case for me. Uh, but, yeah, what's the best thing about – the best thing about BioNano is undoubtedly that what it does, the greater than 500 base – I don't – okay, I sound really smart when I say this. I memorize this because this is what the company does, and this is what I hear from the company in the C-suite. But this is – to my understanding, we do greater than 500 base pair structural variation, right? That's a type of genetic analysis, right? No one else in the game does that even close to what we do. Not even close. So the market share – the market share that we can take just based on that fact is huge because there's other people using the other methods – right now in that market they haven't switched to sapphire yet to my understanding that's huge that's the best so that's the best thing sapphire does what it does better than everyone else in the world the worst thing about it is why haven't the people already adopted the sapphire and most people say resistance to change and lack of academic praise that's what that's what journalists have said i think that's largely true um but yeah that, that's the most concerning thing why haven't they already bought the sapphire the, the most positive i think and i think only in stock price most positive uh, thing is the shorts. I think it's such a positive that people would take the time to try to drive the price of the stock down while the volume still maintains itself. I think they're accumulating the stock endlessly, trying to get people scared, using scare tactics on all the stock sites. I find that as a positive sign. That's on every stock, though. I'm with you, but there's always FUD bears on every stock, no matter what. I don't know. Every stock, even freaking Amazon. Not like the, well, not many, but you find them. Yeah, not you find bears on everything. Yeah, but not shorting like this when you see it. You know, they'll short more when the stock price goes up. I mean, it's crazy. Yeah, they're they are trying, insane. <laughs> they're just trying to drive the price down and accumulate. <clears throat> the uh, the negative thing is, um, I would say that late to the game sales team building. That's the negative. You know, you get you hire new people. You know, how can they add sales to the quarter? You know, they're adding costs to the quarter, but you know, it takes people a while to get started. So that that's kind of negative. well. One of them was from Illumina. They have FDA approval experience as well, and right. one of them grew a business from eight to two hundred million. But yeah, I hear you. You know, it's just, I, I, I wish them? they were there in January. You know. Yeah, I do too. So. It's definitely business expansion, though. But yeah, all right, go ahead. I don't. Know. One of my well, one of my favorite things that I like about it is whenever and one of the reasons that I bought in the very first place was I uh, I saw some article talking about the efficiency of their product compared to Pack B and the price. Yes, and I think that price is the main thing for me. Um, I'm a Kathy fanboy. They talk about I think it's Price's Law. Whatever that law is, where as the as the cost to produce whatever the product or the service declines, um, adoption and demand increases. And I I think Pack Bio, it was like ten grand a, a uh, gene or something like that. Yeah, something crazy, one per genome, yeah. And um, B 
bingo was 500, 500 bucks or something right. like that. And just, I, I, I keep hearing uh, Kathy talk about the genomic move and the era. And Kathy, what are you talking about? That's right. I love her. Talking about it's CRISPR funny. and... Um, I, I, she, I've heard her talk about where getting your genome se edit, uh, sequence edit is going to just, just be a normal run-of-the-mill checkup, yeah. 100 bucks kind of thing. And I, I think that adoption will occur as the price continues to drop, more adoption increase. So I think just their efficiency and their price, the fact that they're, they're, they've got such a head start, um, that makes me feel really good. Yeah, what's, what's surprising... To me, like CNBC, it seems they, they don't like her. You know, oh, it seems like people Kramer don't like her. About her. Yeah. She's, she I think she's they brilliant. Don't do, she's she's brilliant. the new type of investor, growth, disruptive technology. None of the old people like that. Right. Well, I would have never put my telephone number out there unless you know she's transparent. She says what they trade. Uh -huh. When I sell a sock, I tell them. Yeah, I sold it. Got to respect that. You know, just tell the truth. Yeah. Th that's a, there's a shortage of truth. She's she's taking a lot of heat, but she'll have her her run here in a little bit. I Another think so. One. The only thing about her is that when her ETF started, it was literally sideways and went down for like the first two years or something. But yeah, it's freaking skyrocketed since then. So well, I, I, hey, she's hey, a genius. She's yeah, you know, about, companies are gonna do well. You don't know when though, right? So maybe she knew all along. The yeah. cusp on the cusp of their thirteen technologies or whatever, five platforms, and they're ready for prime time. I think I, I trust her. I think she's done a lot of research and. Um, uh, I believe it's, her it's, research over mine. It's bad. It's <laughs> bad that you're saying that because Kathy Wood, we we're, we're praising her, and she, that's you the know, negative. That's she my doesn't one like negative. It. Simon Barnett. Wait, wait, she well, maybe, wait. Maybe that. somebody insulted her company from BNGO. So I mean, if that happened with me, at a principal, I just wouldn't buy the stock. You know, maybe somebody. Hope so. Maybe somebody. Maybe it's got that? nothing to do with technology. It's got everything to do with a personal thing. Maybe. And 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 and, and people have been known to. Stick to their guns and say, no, we're not buying b and and that's it. But there are many other investors that want to make money, and, you know, we'll have to see. I mean, You've seen the projected future revenues, mm -hmm. correct? Right. Does that excite you about holding? Does that make you want to hold? Or are you more so um, hesitant? You want to watch what the management does. That's your number one The number one thing, thing I think everything is about people, right? Uh, I'm here because, right. you know, a young man who's trying to really make it, and I think he, I think he has something that the the stock market needs. We need uh, we need a thousand more of Brandon, a thousand more Mr. Investor Lights. It's all about people, and as much as we've tried to isolate ourselves or we've become divided, the the cure to everything is people connecting. So. Uh, you can speculate that your sales are going to be anything, but it's how the people perform together. You know, if we start hearing some infighting in BNGO, that's not a good sign. We want to see we want to see major teamwork, which means they have to hit milestones quickly, right? Because that's what teamwork does. Is it it shows you the advances really quickly. I think they've got their marketing down pat. You know, all the texts and all the 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 comments that they make. Uh, but now we have to see 10 sales made this week. Right, right. Uh, you know, major investor. That'd be nice. You know, major investor, uh, you know, buys five to donate to this place or whatever. Uh, you know, if it went to 25, I will at least probably buy one and donate to some place. But uh, I, I would say that that's what we really need. Now... I have a really smart friend who's an economist, and he says, when I was in college, I was saying, oh, I want to have this business, I want to have that business, and he said, show me, don't tell me. Mm. Smartest guy I know, Jack Flattery. And he, and he, he was very firm about it. He said, don't, I don't want to hear it, just show me. And that's it. Hey, we're in the show me state. We are. <laughs> that's right. The only <laughs> cool thing about Missouri, the only cool name. <laughs> Misery is what we call it. Yeah. Hey, um, this is where Jesse James is from. St. Joe, Missouri. Which Jesse James? 
Jesse James the Outlaw. I was thinking, I was thinking, when you said Jesse James, I thought Steelers, because my, anyways, oh, there's a Steelers player there. I, I was going to say, on that revenue point, if the revenue goes like it's projected, I mean, most people know, I mean, it's, it's absolutely overbound, and it will be, I mean, you said 10x, oh. I mean, I'm talking, if we get if what they are projecting, what is it, okay? I mean, basically, even the analyst, if you extend it from 2026 at the, the CHER, what it is, we're talking close, at least close to a billion in 2030 alone. I mean, we're talking... Okay, uh, 50x, 30x, easy. Okay, one billion. If the DCF model by Ragnaros, yeah, I mean, what do you call it? There's a real realistic case that we get two billion in revenue, and, and not revenue, sorry, profit, not net income, without ta- well, oh. with taxes. Yes, 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 net okay. income according to many sources. Yes, I mean it's absolutely over, and that's what the analysts are projecting, right? That's not us. That's the analysts. And I looked up a few different sites. I, I was trying to find if anybody knows websites that project revenue um multi-year please let this man know so he could share with us more than 2026 i've seen the ones that go through 2025 2026 i was looking at chart mill which um it goes out to 2025 and i was comparing the numbers for 2021 2022 amongst other sites to see like okay is chart mill at least accurate in their initial projections and they were and I think 2021 projected what revenue 10 or 20. It should like be that. well. Cindy Wall Street is 16 million. It'll be in the realm. Uh, Charmo, I want to say Charmo had a 21 million. I want to say, it's, but it, it's around say 15 to 20. Yeah. In that range, 2025 is 200 plus. So that, that's enough that's said. A, enough said. I mean, that's what 12x is 12x by Kate, now to 2025. Through the, 2025. The revenue at the four, at the core level, I mean, the, the revenue and then the money is the stock price. Okay? At the end of the day, we're here to make money. That's what the company does. Okay, so the stock price, we're already pricing in future stuff. What is it, 12x, right, you said? 12 from today to 2025. Okay. And if it goes to a billion, that's 70 Enough, enough said, okay? And this is what I don't I don't understand. I mean, if the analysts are right, I mean, it's absolutely over. And, you know, NAND Dimension is valued higher enough, so they don't even make anything revenue, right? <laughs> I know that it gets NAND Dimension, right? I like them, but, you know. Uh, no one knows about this stuff. No, I mean, that's the only explanation. No one knows about the revenue. I mean, these people know, but the masses, right. the people who are shorting it, they don't pay attention to this stuff, I don't think. Well, that's why, you know, what you're doing is so important. This this is unheard of. Three strangers. That's true. <laughs> I bet it's this. Did, you know, wait, did you know me before this? I knew you were Newsweed and you were coming to see him. Okay. I didn't know him. I walked in and he said, hey, I'm a friend yeah. of the stream. Yeah. I didn't know. This is, I mean, this, yeah. <laughs> I just commented on his videos and um i don't even have my own picture on youtube so i knew you're not gonna you have no idea who i am yeah hopefully you recognize my name at, at best but i was like i i can't miss this chance to come, <laughs> it's come awesome chat it's unheard and, uh, I, i'm glad that he met me because now he can tell people the guy really owns the shares and he's going to hold forever. And, and, and yeah, he's <laughs> never going to sell a share. If he does, no. I want us to riot no, listen, outside of his house. you got to let this video run because, of, listen, I, I'm telling you, who the hell would say that he wants to take care of his ex-wife, high school girlfriend because he basically couldn't do it before? I mean, it's the truth. He's selling. <laughs> I'm not selling. No, he's I selling. I just want to, listen, I don't have a long life ahead. That bag over there is full of medicine. Okay, but I want to make sure that my ex-wife is taken care of. We we don't want to we don't want to pressure you. We understand. Yeah, yeah you're, you're just, yeah, everyone, yeah, everyone. Yeah, everyone. Yeah, 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 yeah right. <laughs> <laughs> I, I don't want a Lambo. I don't want a boat. I don't want anything. I just pretty much I want to exercise every day. That's what I like doing, and I want to keep roofing. There you go. That's what I want to do. I hiked this morning. Well, whatever you do, make sure I, you I sell hope some hiking Mark around does. here. I hope there's some <laughs> hiking around here in Missouri. Any good trails around here? Uh, what do you call? Well, I don't even. It's been so long since I went through. Uh, Wilson's Creek. Is that what it's called? I'll get up early tomorrow and go. That's like the I don't know. I don't. Around. Are there any dangerous animals around here I have to worry about? No. Shh, I'm not the person to ask. Okay. It's misery, but it's I don't know about that kind of misery. Right. You don't okay. got to worry about that. No. Nothing. All right. That's cool. Not anywhere near here, I would say at least. No. I hiked in Arkansas and the the. Uh, Maybe a bobcat or something. Yeah, they they were saying, oh, venomous snakes. That's oh, what we have to yeah, worry about. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, all right, we done. Anything else? I think I've, I've asked about twenty dollar price target end of year, 15, 15. 17 and a half. 
for me, and basically twenty to fifteen. Okay, I know there's people calling to me. I don't but, like, but, it, but it's gonna be 20. what it is. It is what it is. You know, it doesn't matter it next doesn't year. Really matter. If you're a young person like this guy, just keep investing. Keep investing. They don't care. They will come on the stream every day. It doesn't matter what you say. They will get everyone is pissed off, wanting to kill each other when we're down. It does not matter. If you're Whenever. a cook, if you're a cook in a diner. Take five bucks a week and just put it in, in stock. Right. Anything you can. Whenever you're annoyed or whatever, you're you're fearful of bingo, look up. The, go to Chartmill and look up those revenues, please, and have a little bit of guts. And just think, like, time really does go by fast. And the, it just goes faster. And 20, 2030, think about, think about 50 times in. If the analysts are right, you're going to make, I mean, 500% minimum by in a five-year outlook. Okay? If the analysts are right, not us. If the analysts are right, that's what you're making. So it's risk, right? But, yeah. Yeah. I would say don't worry too much about money. Worry more about health and love. Sorry. That's the only thing that matters. Do you have a girlfriend? Uh, no. No, I don't have much luck with ladies, Work on my that. friends. Work on that. Uh, you're... Are you married? No, I got a girl. I I need to get back to her actually before right. too long. Well, but, uh, that's what you focus on. <laughs> Whatever, find a partner you love, because being alone sucks. It's it doesn't matter. The people will come in the stream tomorrow if we're red, and they will they will hammer us. It does not matter what we say. 